What you guys got another video here for you now the other day I made a video on uh, Wi-Fi troubleshooting and how to fix Wi-Fi issues and uh, someone mentioned uh, that the Red Cross uh, the scenario where you have a Red Cross as you can see here we do have a Red Cross on our internet connection it says not connected and this is quite a common uh, error as well and I thought I'd cover it in this video uh, and show you some of the steps you can take if you're using a laptop okay now this also uh, happens when you're having an ethernet connection as well uh, but we're just sort of going to concentrate on wi-fi uh, issues here but you can use some of these uh, scenarios for an ethernet connection with a red cross okay so first up what we're going to do here is take a look at uh, the control panel so we go to control panel here and if you go to network connections here you will see the card has been disabled and this is pretty common Sometimes after an update, these get disabled in some way, shape or form. And all you need to do here is right click and enable uh, that card. OK, now, if you're still seeing this after you've enabled, tried to enable it, and it won't work. What you need to do is check uh, for the actual switch on the laptop. So if you're using a laptop, there'll be a switch on there, which you can see on the screen right now on the side of the laptop. And you need to make sure this is turned on. Now, some of them have an LED light on there or neon light there, or some of them just have a switch. And you need to make sure that's switched on and that will then turn and enable uh, the Wi-Fi card. OK, now, sometimes they don't have a switch on the side like you see here. They'll have something on the keyboard and I'll show you quickly now on the keyboard. There'll be an FN key and there'll be a little uh, Wi-Fi beacon sign on one of the F12, uh, F12 to F1 keys along those keys along there okay from F1 right up to F12 there'll be a little beacon on one of those keys and you need to push the F FN key and the uh, beacon key there to turn on your Wi-Fi and you should then get onto the internet now if you're still having trouble and you have enabled it and it's not working then you've got a couple of options there you need to uh, go to your Wi-Fi NIC card which is on the back panel of your laptop now if you're not familiar with doing this then leave it alone and let a PC repair guy do it but basically you just have to unscrew one of the back panels and there'll be a little NIC card in there with two little screws or one screw okay now there'll be two little cables on there as you can see on the screen right now and they need to be make sure they're attached to that little uh, network card if they are attached it may be possible that the network card is failing and this is why you're not connecting to the internet and this is pretty common and you will need to replace that uh, network card but before you go ahead and replace it try and get yourself an ethernet cable and plug it into the laptop and try to download the drivers for that network card because it could be a driver related issue and you can do that uh, by going uh, by looking at the model number of that network card you can see the number on the screen there and you can get the model number and update it from there now you won't be able to connect to the internet via wi-fi so you will need either a dongle usb dongle or you would need an ethernet cable to connect there so you can get onto the internet now if we take a look at device manager here as you can see there's a little arrow under network adapters here that is showing me that it's been disabled and all you need to do here is enable this uh, device and it will come back on okay it's the same thing as you did uh, in network and sharing now if you want to look for an update you need to have a dongle or an ethernet cable as i mentioned and you can then go update driver once you get into here you can either search automatically uh, for an updated driver on the internet by clicking here but you will need an internet connection to do that you can also try to browse uh, for your driver and say let me pick from the list available and if this driver is listed here which it is you can then try to install it from here and sometimes this does rectify the problem but if it doesn't you will need to go to the manufacturer's website and download uh, that driver and that could be any make or model of that uh, particular type of network card whether it be a Realtek uh, Gigabyte or any of those type Intel you need to go to their website and download that now if you're seeing a yellow exclamation mark like you see here 
we can reinstall the driver and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on but basically you've got an issue with your driver and you'll need to reinstall that okay or uninstall it and reinstall it that's probably your best method right there now another area you need to check is inside your BIOS and to get into your BIOS you need to restart your computer and at the post screen you need to tap the key to get into your BIOS sometimes it's the F2 key and sometimes it's the DEL key or delete key that will get you into the BIOS it may be another key up there which is called F10 or something like that you need to find it and it's normally printed at the bottom of the post screen and you can get into the BIOS now once you're inside the BIOS you need to look for your uh, network card adapter setting in there sometimes if you've disabled it from there you won't be able to get internet access it will be disabled okay and no matter what you try driver updates uh, all those things it won't work because you've disabled it inside the BIOS so make sure you enable anything to do with network inside there okay and that should uh, resolve your issue now another area to check is your router you need to log into your router and you can do that by going up to the top of an internet browser and typing in your IP for your router to get into the menu the router menu now if you're not familiar with doing this then you may want to leave it to someone who knows what they're doing and they can log in there to make sure that the Wi-Fi uh, adapter is turned on and that means that your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi uh, so you can connect to it okay so there's no point trying to connect to a Wi-Fi connection if you have got Wi-Fi disabled in your router it's not going to work and you'll have an issue okay so make sure that is enabled as well just in case Now another area you can check is inside your services and you want to go into services by typing service services in the uh, search box down there and this will open up uh, the services pane here. Now inside here what you're looking for is your Wi-Fi uh, service and also other network services you want to make sure they are running if they are turned off you won't be uh, able to get it to the internet and sometimes this happens when you're tweaking and messing around with settings you may have watched some YouTube video where someone's saying disable all these and you won't be able to get onto the internet okay you can see here Wi-Fi and wireless uh, connections here for services make sure they are running the WLAN uh, auto config is your wireless one okay make sure that is on automatic and make sure it says running sometimes stopping this and restarting it does help uh, with that issue okay and that's a simple case of just hitting stop if it is running and then you can hit start make sure it's on automatic and that sometimes fixes and resolves that issue now if you look on the left hand side here it will give you some information about this and you can see here that it is for your wireless uh, network card now also looking at network here you want to come into this area and look for under network uh, areas here and you can see network connections make sure everything is running here and you want to look inside here okay so for instance uh, network location awareness you can see that's running and just check just generally check inside here okay so what I'm going to do here is just go down to uh, search and type control panel and uh, open up our control panel here and once we're inside here we can go to network and sharing center and you can get it from other areas as well but we're just going to go via the uh, control panel here and once you get inside here you may see something looking like this which is your network connections if you're seeing these which are the red crosses which is Wi-Fi not connected and you've got the green bars there but you've got the red cross then this is the Red Cross syndrome which you may be suffering okay so if you just follow what I've been saying hopefully uh, you can rectify this now what you want to do as well is make sure that we check uh, that we have got obtain an IP address uh, automatically and also obtain a DNS server automatically and I'll quickly show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so what you want to do is go into your Wi-Fi uh, connection here right click on this and then you can see here if you look at uh, status you can either go into status and or you can go into properties here but let's just quickly check status here and you can see here I'm going to go properties now I just want to go down to where it says internet protocol version 4 TCP IP and then we're going to go in here and uh, if you look here you'll see uh, an area 
in here let's just go back in there that seems to have shut down so go back in here and when you go inside here you're looking for obtain an IP address automatically make sure that is ticked and also obtain a DNS server automatically as well now I'm going to close this off here and uh, what you can do is also diagnose from here and troubleshoot your network connection via this connect uh, via this area here you can also do it in other areas of Windows 10 as well it will show you troubleshoot you can either tr uh, type troubleshoot in the search box and then go to network or you can click on start settings and you can see no internet access here and click on troubleshoot you can see that troubleshoot uh, button there just click on that and it will run a troubleshooting uh, diagnostics of your uh, network uh, card and try to get it back up and running okay so we're just going to leave that running and uh, let that test and we'll move on to the next step so what you want to do here is come down to the settings area network and internet into your Wi-Fi and you want to forget any other type of network that it's trying to connect to okay and the way you can do that here is you'll see known uh, network let me see here if I can find it there we are manage known networks inside here you'll see a list of networks okay and what you want to do is click on the ones that uh, the preference are anyone that's listed here that you don't want to know as a preference you then forget them okay and all and leave the ones that you are trying to connect to so anything inside here may be older networks just remove them and forget them and uh, it won't try to connect to those and you should be okay there inside here you will see Wi-Fi and make sure this is all turned on and you are running okay here okay if, if this is off you're gonna not be able to connect uh, to here okay okay so if you want to search for a driver you can either check the NIC card itself as you can see there is a model uh, number on there you just search for the model number and put driver in here and then go to the site of that reputable dealer where it comes from in that case it is Intel and you can click on here and it will take you to their page where you can then download the driver for the latest operating system that you are using okay so let me just quickly show you one more there so we're going to go to the device manager and check here and if you're checking for network adapters here you would see here this is a real tech and you can see here R rtl 8192 cu and that's where you would search for okay so you'd right click on here update the driver and search the internet you can either do it this way or you can physically search uh, on the internet and you can also check for Windows updates here and it's always advisable to check Windows updates because sometimes they have the latest updates for these and you can just search and do an update on that so what we can do here is open up our browser and search for Realtek RTL 8192CU so all I'm gonna do here is go Realtek and you can do RT RTL 8 192 CU and you can go Windows 10 driver you can see it here or you can get LAN driver we're going to go this one here and you can either get it from the Microsoft catalog here as you can see they do have it on here and the reason why is because it's packed in their updates and if you don't want to do it off of Microsoft's website you can actually go to Realtek themselves and get it from here as well make sure you go to the actual uh, maker of that driver and you can get it from here I just want to cover one more uh, which I think could be useful if you've tried all those is to do system restore so you can go system and then restore type that in your search you can see here create a system restore point we can open this box up and from here you can see here it is turned on and you can then uh, go back from from there to another restore point so system restore would open this up and it will say recommended or you can choose a diff different restore point go next and it will give you uh, the system restore points all listed here and you can go back and hopefully that will resolve your issue but pretty much they're the ways to fix the red cross uh, that you may be getting on a wi-fi just remember to make sure it's enabled make sure everything is all turned on 
and make sure all those settings are set up and you should be back up and running in no time at all. I think that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.